Welcome back. I hope you enjoy these stories from the Great Depression. The year was 1938. Not a good year for many people. In looking back over the years, I can remember many Christmases, some happy and some sad, but one stands out in my memory as very special. It started out to be a sad holiday as we were locked in the depths of the Great Depression. Our parents had told us not to expect a lot as Santa had to spend his money on food for the poor. My father was still working, but his salary had been cut in half and he was working longer hours. He was so tired when he came home that he would eat and go right to bed. I guess we knew or sensed the struggle both our parents were having just to make ends meet. The day before Christmas, I was very sad. My doll had disappeared and I couldn't find her anywhere. Other toys were missing too, and we had nothing to play with and nothing to look forward to. On Christmas Eve, I was sent to the grocery store and the grocer told me I had just missed seeing Santa. If only I had been there a few minutes earlier. I began to cry, and the grocer gave me a package of nuts to take home for Christmas. When I got home, I had a feeling that perhaps Santa had visited our house. With my heart pounding, I ran inside and looked under the tree, but nothing was there. We children went to bed with heavy hearts. I didn't think I would ever be happy again. I awoke early, walked into the living room, and lo and behold, my missing doll was under the tree with a new dress and a clean face. Our doll furniture was under the tree too, now painted snow white. In fact, every toy that had been lost was back looking like new. We shouted for joy as we picked up our lost treasures. We were the happiest children in the world. Then we gave our parents their gifts, calendars, we had made for them at school. They were so glad to get them. As we ate breakfast, laughter and joy enveloped our house. I remember thinking then, if only I could keep this day forever, and I've done just that in my heart. I hope you enjoy this and many other stories from the Great Depression.